On the menu today, we got 2 Bar 2, which is a Capture the Flag map. Um, not in the style of 2 Fort, though, which if you wonder what I mean by that, it's because, you know, a lot of these maps, like, you know, Capture the Flag maps in these games and really other games, usually have two, like, forts facing each other, like, you know, parallel. Like, so they're looking at each other at all times. This one is a little bit more unique because you have to go around to get to the other fort. So, you know, it's not worlds apart, but, you know, it's, it is something different. And I actually have a feeling that this map actually favors some, more, like, classes in a way that other maps don't. And, uh, like, favor, like, disadvantages other classes at the same time. Uh, specifically, Heavy Weapons Guy. A lot of these maps... Oh, let me just actually get into the game and I'll show you on ground level. Uh, let me just... I'll talk about the base in a second. I just want to get over there. So I think it's worth mentioning that whoever made this made it for Clan Snow Crash at, uh... Oh, I, I thought that was the website. Uh, I don't know if this clan exists anymore. There's a good chance they don't. Um, anyway, though. But as you can see, unlike a lot of these maps where I feel like it's very open and, like, the heavy weapons guy can just, like, you know, go to town and just decimate everyone, he's still dangerous here, but there's actually cover. So, you know, you can actually hide around, throw grenades, and, like, you know, try to avoid it. Uh, but the, uh, the flip side of that is that the snipers can get you really easily here. If you're not careful, because, like, there's the sniper nest is right there, and they can actually fire over this fence here. But besides that, um, I, I feel that, you know, the heavy weapon, this is one of the few ma like maps that I remember seeing where the heavy weapons guy is not, like, you know, the, the king of the roost, you know. Not that, you know, you, can, you can't win this game just by playing heavy weapons guy, but a lot of the strategy of this game is getting around him. But here, it's not so much the case. Now, the fort itself is pretty, uh, smaller than it looks. You got, like, you know, respawn area there, respawn area there. Capture point here, of course. Um, not, nothing too crazy, but, you know, there, there are a few ways to go around. It's not just one way. So if you're trying to sneak around, especially as a spy, you actually have some options here. Which, again, is another thing I like about this map, is that it actually gives some chance there. Now, you got in the back room, you got the flag. Um, a little tight here. I, I would have preferred, like, you know, another multi-route, like, you know, way to go that they were kind of building up out here. But, you know, nothing too crazy. Good map. Let's check it out. Yeah, I guess I forgot to say, uh, read this real quick. Two Barriers version 2 by that name. I don't really feel like it. Objectives normal as always. So, Snowcrash.org. I don't recommend checking either of these sites because they might give you a virus or whatever terrible things occur on the internet nowadays. Anyway, yeah, let's get... Oh, wrong button. All I'm doing is running press screen, damn it. Anyway. I would say that if you're good at comp jumping, like, insanely good, this would be a good, like, map to, like, just fling yourself around on, but, you know. But speaking of that, um, as you're gonna see right away, this actually gives me some leeway to, like, you know, jump over and try to rush through. Doesn't always work there, because that was some bad timing, but, you know, you got some options. But ultimately, you're gonna have to just, like, you know, on a human, like, you know, server, like, with actual people on it, you're gonna actually, you know, want to coordinate and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know why it's called two barriers, though. I don't, they're like, the barriers, like, I don't really even see, like, a barrier at all. Like, the, these aren't really barriers. This is just a fort wall. I would have called it, like, U Canyon or something like that. Because, you know, it's a U. Half circle. I'll shut up now.
try to get over the walls immediately, so then you can just keep on going. Like, I'm just too cautious, and like, I don't, I'm just not trying to get too close with my comp jumps. But if you know how to time them right, which I don't, then you can keep them, like, on you, build it cooking, and then right when you get, like, the walls close enough, you can just jump off of it. Some people are just insane with this stuff. What I've seen, like, these people play this game, it's just nuts. I have never... I'd like to make that very clear that I have never claimed to be an expert in this game. This is a high quality spawn point though because he actually bothers to put all the items right there. That's a pet peeve of mine with some of these maps where you get the spawn points and they're like there's no armor, there's no ammo, the grenades aren't there. Just put them all right there. Like goodness, get, let, let us get ready. <laughs> so weak I could keep bunny hopping there and like try to sneak in or maybe not really sneak in is probably the wrong word to use there but you know I, I have a good chance of getting to the flank before they knew I hit him You're just pulling my string. Oh. Well, you're you're valid. You're you're fine, but still the other guy's a dummy. because it takes a second to open up and kind of kills your flow. Like, you know, it's it's just, it was one of those little details that, you know, I feel like if you didn't have it, it would actually be a plus. Less is more, yeah, just have it open at all times. Like every other map in existence. Good stuff. Oh! 
Try a different strategy. Never mind, my strategies all suck. I will go uh, wreck my face later. Away. That's the real fatal flaw with this map is that if you don't have people coordinating and like you know doing planned rushes and like you know actually finding a way to push through, yeah, this is another one of those maps where it's kind of a stalemate. Because you know, me by myself, I am never going to be able to get into that fort and capture anything. I guarantee you right now. But if I was working together with people that knew what they were doing and like you know I can actually communicate with, it'd be a little bit different. So I, I feel the way that the fort itself is built actually has multiple ways to, you know, like, kind of infiltrate if you were to actually, like, figure out what you're doing. This doesn't really. Yeah, don't go in that corner because you just get stuck. I don't know why I haven't figured that out yet. Sure, I heard a sentry there. Yep. They had already anticipated my actions. Oh lord. <laughs> 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 